Hi there, Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and SherryAnnRichardson.com. I'm um, taking care of the vlog today. Um, I just got to thinking she's just added another uh, web page. I don't know whether that one's going to uh, wind up being in the list eventually or not. Um, probably will. Uh, <laughs> It's gonna make it even more complicated. Um, but anyways, uh, it's a nice day out here. Uh, just got off work. Um, the uh, I'm getting ready to go home and do some yard work. Uh, sounds like I, you know, I'm gonna be getting the tiller out and doing some tilling first. Uh, we did get the lawnmower back today. Um, when she went to go get it, uh, it wouldn't start again. Uh, the guy was going to, you know, keep it and work on it some more. He was talking about, you know, ordering a bunch of parts for it, and then happened to think about it, hooked it up to a battery charger, started right up. So we wound up getting a uh, battery for it, um, and I think that's been. The big issue all along for with all of the uh, lawn mowers really um, I think the battery charger that I have that I've been using um, isn't working right so I think what's been happening is um, you know I've been thinking that I'm charging the batteries and getting them charged up and everything and they're not and so I think I've got a good battery going. I try to start it, it won't start. I think it's, you know, something other than the battery because well, I charged the battery. No, I think it's it's the battery charger and the batteries are not, you know, in the shape that I think they're in. Um and that's why things aren't working right. So, uh I think I may be looking into getting a new battery charger. Um at some point, uh, depending on the price, um, but we'll see what we can do without it for now. Um, I think part of that's going to be um, possibly taking batteries to AutoZone, getting them to charge them for me, uh, at least temporarily. Uh, and if I can get them charged up good, um, then you know, or getting new batteries for everything. Um, then I may not have to worry about it for a little while. But uh, we have the lawnmower back, so and I think it's working. Um, so I'm gonna be going home, get out the, uh, the tiller. Um, we've got a riding tiller that's a, a rear tine, uh, so I'll probably get it out and run it. I'm not sure just which location uh, I'm gonna be tilling first, but uh, I'm going to work on the yard a little bit, although I don't want to work too late because we're going to have to have something to eat and I've got to go to bed early tonight because I've got to get up early because i got to be in here early. Uh, <laughs> um, it's basically end of month. Uh, it's the last Friday of the month. Uh, Rodney, the delivery that came in today, filled up the floor pretty good. So he's, you know, got quite a bit of stuff sitting there that needs to be worked on. So he's going to come in at 5. I'm going to come in at 5. We're going to get started on it. Uh, get an hour and a half in before everybody else comes in. Uh, see how much we can get done of it. And then uh, see how much he can clear uh, tomorrow. And then uh, we'll see what what Monday winds up, or actually what Saturday, we may be able to get his floor completely cleared up on Saturday, because we are working Saturday. So, anyways, I think that's going to do it for today. I'm pretty beat, uh, but got to do some yard work. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, so I've got to get some stuff done um, while I've got the opportunity. So, anyways, uh, we'll give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Comments below. Uh, 
subscribe and we will see you again tomorrow and have a great evening.